Hey, welcome back to Mobility Project. Today we're going to take on some ideas about programming. How do you think about a uh, program for mobility? Let me show you some guidelines. So, let me show you the first step. So, if this was me personally, I would think about mobility this way. I have my kind of kernel of ideas that things I'm always working on. For me, this is anterior hip. And then kind of the next priority for me is my thoracic spine. And that's T-spine for me. And then I sort of work around into some other problems. Like, what am I doing? Well, maybe I need to floss my hamstrings, posterior chain. And then maybe I'm feeling like I just got one or two minutes left and I've got one more problem. So, you know, maybe I'm going to just, you know, smash my calf. And for a week or so, this is what's going to hang out and work on there until I kind of, kind of make change or I feel like that's not a big deal or it's not going to limit me tomorrow. So that's one way to program. Some other basic guidelines for programming. One, if you're programming for the group, for the group, one, you want to make it context specific. Context specific. It means you people don't care about you stretching your anterior hip. What do they want? They want to improve their deadlift. They want to improve their squat. So, you know, of course, one mobilization and movement works for a lot of different positions. But let's go ahead and make it about uh, something that people can remember. Like my wife, for example, she doesn't care about the proximal hamstring. She's like, oh, I want to improve my deadlift. She will connect those two. So make it about the deadlift. Make it about a movement. Two. It's every day. You've got to drive this in that people need ten or 15 minutes every day is one of those pieces you don't get to take off, okay? Four, it turns out people handle about three things really well. So keep it at about three things. That's actually very scientific. People can have about three pieces of homework that they can be responsible for. You, you can hold on to people's ideas for about three items. And then after that, you're going to lose them. Five, it's got to be Two minutes, minimum dose. Make sure you treat until you make change, otherwise you're not gonna kind of get in there long enough. And then if we were thinking about something else, six, if it feels sketchy, it's sketchy. Reposition, try something else, right? Most important, this is the big driving home message, it's got to be test and retest. Make sure you're standing people up in between and after, and they can actually see change and experience change in the range of motion. Remember, mobility is a tool to affect position. Ultimately, what we've got to do is drive better position, express that better position. It's not only the thing that we know that the reason that this is working, but the second piece of this is that we need to go camp out and use that new range. Otherwise, it's irrelevant, all right? We're going to start doing some programming. Look for today's uh, program for the next two weeks. And we'll just give you a basic programming uh, outlet of what two weeks of good mobility looks like. See you guys tomorrow.